Yeah, so news just hit today that Zillow is pausing home buying through 2022. And the, the main reason is just a shortage of labor markets, which is basically they don't have the people to get in there, get the home ready to sell or flip it in enough time. So it's causing a huge you know, shortage of what they can do with the listing. So they've decided to pause uh, buying homes through 2022. And I'm seeing the reactions from buyers all celebrating like, yes, now we're going to have new inventory, which this is partly true. But you got to understand that iBuyers like Zillow, Offerpad, they only make up 5% of our market here in Phoenix right now currently. And really the major issue which we should focus on is the huge Wall Street investment firms who are contributing billions of dollars to just buying up single family home residences and just renting them out. And what these firms are doing is one, they're making a huge shortage of inventory for real buyers who could use home ownership. And they're also just pledging to rent them out for 10, 12, 15 years. So we will never see that home come back on the market, at least for the next decade. And on top of that, what they're doing is all they care about is their yield. So what they're gonna do is just keep increasing rent incrementally as it moves you know, year to year. And that's gonna increase the rent for those homeowners who can't find a home. So it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword that's going on right now. Uh, still good to stay positive and you know, stay on track if you're trying to buy a home, especially with our low interest rate environment right now. But it is important to see the real causes of this inventory shortage. And it's not just Zillow pausing their, their home buying.